Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, I'll present a tip to simulate what is commonly called a clamped clamped or fixed fixed end condition for column buckling. You can check results of the buckling module in SolidWorks simulation against the Euler buckling formula for slender columns. The formula only applies if the column meets criteria for minimum slenderness ratio. And it does provide an estimate for the critical buckling force of the structure using the material modulus E, the bending inertia I, and the effective length LE. The effective length is dependent on the end conditions. For example, if the ends are pinned as in this image, the effective length is just the length of the column itself. The buckled or bent shape looks like the image on the right. You can see the pinned ends allow rotation at the top and the bottom of the column. If both ends are clamped or fixed, the effective length is known to be half the actual column length. The bent shape looks like the image on the far right. You can see the clamped ends cannot rotate. And it takes a lot more force to buckle the column. You can set this up in SOLIDWORKS simulation. This tip is about how to simulate the end fixtures for this case. Here's the column in SOLIDWORKS. It's 14 feet tall and made of steel. For this case of clamped clamped ends, the Euler buckling load is 333,200 pounds. We'll define a buckling study, and I'll apply a fixed fixture on the bottom. It's obvious that we cannot apply a fixture type of fixed to the upper end because then the load would have no effect. So I'll choose advanced fixtures. We can apply fixtures to the top face and use the same top face as the reference geometry for the directions. The options include two orthogonal directions in the plane of the face, so we'll choose those. We do not choose the option normal to the face because that would prevent the axial buckling load from moving the column at all. So I'll install an axial load of one pound, run, and see what we get. You can see the bent shape of the column looks about right. I'll zoom in on the upper end to examine this more closely at true scale. It appears to act as though it is pinned at the top. The animation shows this too. The buckling load factor is also too low at about 170,000 pounds. It's not obvious how to fix this. However, I found that using a plane at 45 degrees to the face provides a solution. I'll select that as the reference geometry and install an advanced fixture. Now I'll select the face for the fixture application. I found the key here is to restrain the component normal to that plane. You can immediately see how this will keep the end face from rotating. I'll also select the Z component as a restraint. I won't use the third restraint component because that actually over constrains the end face. So I'll run and look at the results. You can see the bent shape more closely approaches the theoretical shape. The animation shows it's almost perfectly clamped at this end. And the load factor agrees with theoretical calculations within 3%. In this video we presented a tip to simulate what's commonly called a clamped clamped end condition for column buckling. 